Fox News update. I'm Shepard Smith on Facebook Watch, live from Fox News headquarters in New York. The United States may send a Marine veteran overseas to face charges after Spanish investigators accuse him of breaking into North Korea's embassy. Plus, some top officials in Sri Lanka could lose their jobs after the Easter Sunday bombings killed hundreds of people. But first, a car last night plowed into eight people in Northern Cal California, and police there say the driver may have done it on purpose. We have new video of the suspect taken just months after the crash during an arrest, apparently shouting, praise Jesus and praise the prophet Elijah. This was at a shot at an intersection near a shopping center in Sunnyvale, California, a city between San Jose and San Francisco. Nobody died here, but officials say a 13 year old was among those hurt. Witnesses told investigator the driver was speeding and didn't even try to brake or steer away as he drove straight into people who were in the crosswalk and on the street corner. The car then slammed into a tree. Officers arrested the driver, but haven't released a name or much of anything else. The FBI is now helping in the investigation. A police spokesman does say they reached out to federal investigators because, and I quote, we are making sure we're looking at all the possible motives and angles. Sri Lanka's president is calling for the country's defense secretary and national police chief to resign after terrorists killed more than 350 people on Easter Sunday. It comes after government officials apparently ignored multiple warnings and intelligence reports leading up to the coordinated suicide bombings of churches and hotels across the country. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the bombings, but investigators say they're still not sure the terror group was actually involved. A defense official says many of the bombers were from Sri Lanka, were well-educated, and came from middle-class families. Investigators say they believe the attackers had help from an international organization. A U.S. Marine veteran accused of breaking into North Korea's embassy in Spain could be headed back there to face charges. A federal judge in Los Angeles denied bond for Christopher Ahn, this man. Spanish investigators accused him of being part of a group that stormed the North Korean embassy in Madrid back in February, armed with knives and machetes, iron bars and fake guns. Prosecutors claim the, the, the group tied up and beat the embassy's staff, then stole electronic equipment. These are security images that investigators say show on preparing, or I should say preparing to enter the embassy. An organization that aims to overthrow Kim Jong-un's regime claimed responsibility for that break-in, but denied that there was any violence. Members of the group say they were invited to the embassy and were responding to some sort of urgent situation. An attorney representing the group told ABC News it's dismayed that the Justice Department executed warrants against an American based on complaints by the North Korean regime. Speaking of Kim Jong-un, he has arrived in Russia now to meet with the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. The North Korean dictator all smiles when he stepped off his bulletproof armored train in Russia's Far East. Kim and Putin are set to meet tomorrow, and a Kremlin advisor says a big focus will be North Korea's nuclear program. Last week, North Korea test-fired what it calls a new tactical weapon and demanded that the United States remove the Secretary of State Mike Pompeo from any future nuclear talks. A bit of advice, if you're going to wear a bag as a mask while robbing a gas station, maybe bring another bag for the cash. Queensland, Australia now, watch as the suspect comes in, see the blue bag on the head there, but when the cashier hands over the goods, the robber needs something to put it in, so, yeah, he took the bag off, exposed his face to the security cameras. Police tweeted the video, asking the public, do you recognize this imbecile? And of course they did. A police officer in Syracuse, New York, has a new sidekick. It's tiny and fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of hard to see it, huh? The officer was out on patrol when a baby squirrel climbed on his pants and refused to let go. Thankfully, somebody had a cell phone to record the critter. The police department tweeted that it was cute, but we had to charge the squirrel with harassment. 
Check out more news from Fox News on today's biggest stories on cable, satellite, radio, and right here on Facebook Watch, live or on demand. I'm Shepard Smith, Fox News, New York.